There is a revolution. It spins like the world on its axis so fast it carries no sound, no image, not even a vibration. But if you run fast like a child, and it comes to a sudden stop in your sprints, close your eyes quick, hold your breath, you'll feel it, you'll hear it. The seconds behind or a lifetime ahead. See, right now, there's a Vietnamese boy running through a field with a pair of Nikes tucked under his arm, dodging bullets like raindrops. His blistered feet barely even cutting through the grass, touching the mud, racing against consumerism. The shoes are not for him, but for his grandmother, so that the time in the field can be gentler and this monotony. Right now, a boy has just found a rock. He checks his weight for strength, his bruise for accuracy. He darts off with his fist held high, signaling to the other that the stick ball game is officially on, never knowing that the stone he holds one of the last remaining pieces to a church bomb years ago in Alabama. And the sound he hears later that afternoon when he cracks a home run is not the tinkling of broken glass from Miss Johnson's window with four little black angels crying tears of joy, cheering them as his feet hit every face. Right now, in the Soviet Union, where the red curtain might be tattered, but still has its bloodstained glow over everyone living there, and they like Stalin and Lenin, still bring cold shivers colder than the Hudson in December, and that is like freedom, democracy, and optimism to get you shot and killed if you're lucky. There was a girl sticking her hand into a military bonfire, ignoring the pain and crackling of her own skin. She takes out a half charred book which reads Three Sisters by Chekhov and tucks it underneath the shirt, not for warmth, but security. Right now, a crackhead just waited 10 minutes longer than he did yesterday before going to cop and tells himself, tomorrow, I'll shoot for 20. Right now, a roots faced girl with ass back between the eyes and an ass between the legs with both pull out her age stands on the corner somewhere in St. Louis where some tired state worker rolls a flashing crisp $20 bills. She hops on the bus and heads home for the first time in months. Can you hear me now? Right now, a boy just ran for his life to go to school. Some girl got smacked and called a bitch in some piece of shit car before to leave a purse behind, but not a virginity. There's a revolution happening every moment of every day. There's a black power, no white power, it's not scary, no tyrannical, it's not Hitler, no Gandhi, Malcolm, no Martin, no Sama, no Noriega. It is a young couple's kiss behind the bleachers and the old couple holding hands in the mall. It is loving someone intensely for five minutes and then letting go when the song ends. It is your seemingly unfit hide, your miserable existence that keeps beating your chest like some spiritual drummer boy, helping or getting through his death, and it is writing a poem or hearing one. It is your inhale and exhale. There is even a revolution happening around us at this very moment. Look at the person next to you. See the battle being fought inside their eyes in order for a reflection of the same war being fought inside you. Now the effort to live your life in the way you wish every moment of every day. And that is the real battle, and that is the real revolution. And your goal today is to simply inhale and exhale just to Live and let live, just to inhale and exhale. Can you hear me now? If so, then fight on, good soldiers, because this time the life you saved will be your own.